Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me, Hema Subramanian. Baby corn is rich in fiber, folic acid and a lot more nutrients. I also personally like adding baby corn to my food every now and then. So today I'm going to show you all an interesting baby corn masala recipe. Trust me, it is pretty easy to make and it is also very, very tasty. So let's get started and check out the recipe. For this recipe, I've taken 400 grams of fresh baby corns. So I'm just cutting it diagonally into medium sized pieces. You can cut it however you like. You can also cut them round if you like that. So first we're going to boil the baby corn pieces. Just adding a teaspoon of salt. Boil this on high flame for about five minutes. So I'm just cooking the baby corn partially. So after five minutes, just remove the baby corn from the hot water and keep it aside. So take a nice white kadai, add one tablespoon of oil and one tablespoon of ghee. Now if you don't want ghee, you can just use oil. So once it's heated up, add the whole spices. Just adding some cumin seeds, cloves, cinnamon and cardamom. Add two medium sized onions finely chopped and saute till it turns to a nice golden brown color. So you can see the onions have turned to a lovely golden brown color. At this point, I'm going to add all the other ingredients. Starting with one teaspoon of fresh ginger garlic paste. Next add two green chilies, slit. Now I'm adding all the spice powders. Starting with half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Next add one teaspoon of cumin powder. 1 teaspoon coriander powder, 2 teaspoons Kashmiri red chilli powder. Next add 1 teaspoon of salt. So mix all that in. Now I am going to add the puree of 3 large tomatoes. See the tomato puree is raw so we need to cook this puree till all that raw smell goes and all that excess moisture is evaporate. You can do this keeping the flame on high. So you can see all the excess moisture is evaporated and the raw smell has gone. Now I'm going to add the partially cooked baby corn pieces. So mix the baby corn along with the masala. You can see it's coating the pieces so beautifully. To this I'm adding about 2 cups of water. So we need that water to cook the baby corn completely. You can check for seasoning at this point and if you do need to add a little bit of salt, you can add. Close the kadai and cook on medium flame for about 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, you can see the oil has separated. So I'm going to check to see if the baby corn is cooked completely. See, it's nice and soft, it's cooked beautifully. At this point, I'm going to add the cashew paste that I've already ground. I've taken 12 whole cashew nuts, I've soaked it in water and ground it to a nice fine paste. Just mix that in. This is going to add a very nice taste, flavor and richness to the curry. Now, if you don't have cashew nuts, you can actually substitute it with roasted chana dal because that is also going to give you a very nice flavor and it just thicken the gravy as well. So I'm adding some final flavoring to the curry. Add one teaspoon of garam masala powder and some crushed kasuri methi leaves. Wow, the aroma is simply amazing. You must try this curry. Finally, I'm garnishing with some chopped coriander leaves. You can make this curry for lunch or dinner. I'm serving this baby corn masala curry with some nice chapatis by the side. You can enjoy it however you like. You can also pack these for your lunch boxes. Something different from the usual curries we make. The 
gravy corn masala is a rich gravy that you can enjoy with some plain rotis or with simple rice recipes. Now, it's best to always cook the baby corn a little bit before you add it to the curry because it absorbs the flavors better. Do try the recipe, enjoy and share with your family and friends. So for more exciting and wonderful recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get your notifications. The second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description. You can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now. So you can place your orders on 21frames.in.